Welcome to Emanuel Lutheran Church in Osmond, Illinois, home of this 1958 Allen Rondo S14 organ. As I understand, these are very common organs that still see use today in churches around the United States and abroad, but they remain largely undocumented on the internet. So that's why I'm making this video about it. It consists of 30 straight speaking stops, as well as a sustain and a treble tab right there. That works mostly with these um, percussive stops over here, including marimba, celeste, um, music box, glockenspiel. Um, the pedal consists of three stops, the Lieblichedact, Bordon, and Diapason. Uh, the Lieblichedact is obviously one, the softer of the three, but they're basically all the same voice. It's just soft, medium, loud, and very loud. The pedal clavier consists of 25 keys, all flat, not exactly AGO standard. And the swell shoe does take care of the whole organ. And it does have a couple of interesting features. In this particular installation, the wiring comes up and it follows this conduit up to a speaker box in the pitch of the ceiling. And you can see the access panel right there on the middle right side. Behind that right now, spinning furiously, is a gyrophonic projector which is basically Alan's answer to a Leslie system that you would find in Hammond organs or compatible with Hammond organs. Instead of having speakers that are spun around on a horizontal system, this spins vertically and has roughly the same effect. There are two, oh, I think there are 12 or 14 inch speakers in there. And on the left side of the cabinet or the enclosure up here is a two by 16 subwoofer cabinet. And these do tend to complement each other very well. On most Allen S14s, there was a, well, it shipped with a tool channel amplifier, tube type. The, uh, this Allen is all tubes. It was replaced by the T series later, which was all transistorized. But this one has an amplifier from a T series, and it's only single channel. So I believe it's hooked in series. This does have a couple of interesting features that you don't find on a lot of Allen organs today, especially these percussive stops. I'm going to slow down that gyro. On this particular model, you can't turn the gyro off. On the T-Series, you can, but on this, you can't. But you can get the speakers to spin very um, at a rather slow speed. And the idea with that was to kind of displace the sound from one particular speaker point, but... You can hear it kind of ebb and flow with the rotation of the speaker. And both speakers on that gyro do speak. It probably be, would be more pronounced if only one of them spoke and the other was there just as a dummy. Um, speeding it up to the middle setting, they mark it uh, gyrophonic, celeste, and tremolo. You have something closer to this. Wah, 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 wah. That's the sound you're going to get out of it. That speaks especially nicely with these other stops. And there's a big line of capacitors under the um, lid of this instrument that um, turn on when you put on this uh, sustain stop, but the sustain stop actually comes on automatically with uh, Celeste or vibraphone, music box, or glockenspiel. It has a very nice sound to it, and when you add a little bit of pedal, you can get some very nice results.